Several months ago, Google decided to stop supporting the Windows 7 for Google's Chrome browser. And while the browser continues to operate properly, and will likely continue to operate properly for months or years to come, Mozilla Firefox still supports Windows 7. In order to support the organization that produces the product that works with the software I like, I decided I would switch from using Google's Chrome to Mozilla's Firefox. I expected this to be a completely seamless and non-noteworthy and non-video worthy item, but much to my surprise, it is not and there are multiple problems with YouTube in Firefox. So let's go ahead and open it up here and see if it'll do what it's been doing. So this morning when I was watching videos what happens is, and this has been doing this for about well, it's doing this since I started, I made the change. When an ad plays, the loading bar will come on the screen, yeah, that, that little circle that you just saw, and instead of playing the ad, it will just show that little circle for the duration of the ad, which isn't really a problem. I can't believe none of these videos are displaying advertisements. Why, why is it like that? All these videos, you know, if this was any other time of day and I was going around to watch some videos, it would, everything would have ads on it. Here we go, there's an ad, but it's playing properly. So what it would be doing right now is it would just have the circle there as it plays. See, it's doing it right now. So this is a 15 second advertisement and it's just going to run the circle for 15 seconds and then the video plays. Now that's not really a problem I mean it is a problem, it's not working correctly but I don't really care because I don't come on here to watch the advertisements, I usually ignore them anyways um, but it's kind of annoying because when it first happens you think oh no it just broke you know but it's really just you know it takes five or fifteen seconds if it's one of the skippable ads it will do that for the first five seconds and then it gives you like a a freeze frame of some part of the ad with the skip button on there so it's okay it's it's workable but there's definitely something wrong with the way that it plays the advertisements the second problem is is uh, not so much a problem but just a a personal nuisance to me. When you play the video, you move it to full screen. Typically, with the Google's Chrome, I would hit the space to pause it. Oh, and of course, now it's going to work properly. Usually, when I click the space, it moves the video down. So now it's playing the ad. Or maybe it's actually broken, I don't know. Now I don't have any way to tell. I think this time it's actually broken. Okay, well now for some reason it's working properly, but before when I would open it to full screen the cursor focus would not be on the video and I would press space and instead of pausing the video it would just move it moved the video down of course now it's not going to do it maybe it was an issue of when there was an ad of course now the ad is um, is playing properly it's, it's very inconsistent 
sometimes it played properly and sometimes it doesn't uh, see right now it's not playing properly so we just have to watch this for 15 seconds um, I can't believe it's not giving me ads is this an ad or is it the video I think that's the video So anyways, um, of course now it seems like it's working properly because the camera is on, but and that that issue with the with the space bar it, that's not really a problem because I just have to pause it with the mouse at least once and then it works properly uh, after that. It's more so just I have to change the way that I use the system, which I don't want to do. Um, but I guess I'll do it. Uh, and then the last thing that I find annoying, and maybe there's a way to get rid of this, is this. Sometimes this will come over to like a big rectangle and takes up space on the video and I end up accidentally clicking on it when I want to pause the video because I can't make use of the space bar no more. Although of course now I can. So, I don't know. I'm not sold on this. If it worked properly, I would use it because I have no attachment to, to uh, the Google's Chrome whatsoever. But, I just want it to work. And this is okay, but it's a little finicky, so I don't know. Conceptually, I feel like I should be using this. But from a functional standpoint, Chrome is still working better for YouTube.